Here I am in the uh, city of Sacramento. I have to say, this is my best experience going through Sacramento. But I've already noticed one thing. Because part of this ride, it's kind of an experiment in more ways than one. Culturally and physically. Physically being me. And of course that being coupled with the region. So, culturally, I think I've noticed different already. The people here don't smile, they don't wave back, they don't say hello. Head nod. And you know that shit. And I'm granted we're on this bicycle path out there of nowhere. I'm sure shady shit happens here. People are scared. But even if we're somewhere shady. I can get a head nod and hello or something. Uh, south. Uh, Thailand. This is my home area, the west coast, man. And uh, I was shocked at how nice people were when I rode through the south. And I was really shocked when it didn't end when I got to upstate New York. I guess it started fizzling out by the time I reached Indiana, but that's Indiana. So, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So it was nice everywhere. I, I, part of me really longed to come home where I could ride somewhere I was familiar with and not just uh, the maps and stuff but the weather you know like I know it's not gonna rain tonight I ain't got much to worry about you know pretty good at forecasting weather around these parts plus it's not so easy to get lost I mean I just felt I was lost right now look at my shadow Oh yeah, be good. Should be good. And uh, physically, this trip. So I'm riding the West Coast to see if people are going to be any more nice to me in the West Coast. I'm riding through on a bicycle through tiny little uh, off the map towns. And I guess I'm not, that's why I'm not giving it a fair shot, because I'm going down PCH, and that is not, that's a tiny about that, all the way, going down the coast, the west coast, and it's like one of the most popular coasts to visit around the fucking world. And that's probably why people aren't going to be so nice to me right there, so. I guess the experiment is contaminated, and I got to throw it all the way, so I'm going to turn around and head back home. Oh wait. I'm riding on my own. So, still could get a feel for it because I mean, I rode through tourist areas in the south. People were pretty nice to me there too. Except for that one bitch. It's private property. You know, lady, I took time. Go around the back side of your vehicle so you can pull out before traffic. And you accuse me of trying to break into your house? Whatever. So, what are they talking about? I don't know, but I'm starting to go the wrong way, and if I don't hit a road soon, I'm gonna have to turn around and go back. The seat was killing me, my legs were killing me, my knee was killing me. The bus ride from Mojave to Bakersfield. My knee felt better. And uh, just now when I sat down on this new Brooke saddle, my ass felt a lot better too. 
So I'm giving it a shot. I'm giving the fucking Brook Saddle a good shot. It's been around for over 150 years. You know? Oh, it's time for me to soak the oracle. Sometimes the maps are just, they look way bigger than they are. I'm just having them down one spot. I'm thinking I have them in a set amount of time. It's like so far away. The next thing you know, Beginning of my trip, explaining what's going on. I just took a Metrolink out of Ontario towards Palmdale. I didn't run all the way because there was trouble. I have the best of luck with trains, don't I? And uh, they dumped me off in Via Princesa, Santa Maria, and I rode. And they kicked my butt. I rode down a dirt road for a while. Then, oh man, it felt like a whole. Uh, whole little ass kicking line of elves behind me just do, 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 kicking me with these little tiny fucking Dutch like cobbles clock hoppers or wood and shit. Just do, do, do. Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you breaking the seat in the right way. So I got around to Mojave and the wind picked up and I talked to a cop informed me of a lot of things. One of the things that yes, there'll be a headwind going over that hill towards Bakersfield. It gets so bad I have to close all the passes off about three times a week. Asked if this calms down in the morning, he said yeah, but I mean that's really gonna make that pass take a while for me. So. And I was already beaten, I needed a rest. So. Told me there was a bus, and oh, uh, they told me there was a bus. But somebody said, "Hey, that's cool." And uh, yeah, I could don't quote them on it, but I could probably get my bicycle up there. And. Yeah, unless you're crazy, as I don't know, you could be. I mean, this shirt, I picked the wrong shirt to bring. It looks like the sweat stains turn into bleach under the sun. This is the second time a shirt like this has done this to me. And I think that's what happens when I get a really nice shirt and sweat my ass off it. Bakersfield, uh, basically stuck at the Amtrak station, and then, sorry I'm breaking so people don't think I'm pausing my speech, so people don't think I'm talking to myself. So I stayed the night, got on a train, and there's trouble up ahead of the track. Hey, if you've been watching me, 
worst luck with trains. No problems in Thailand with trains. That's a rickety piece of junk. <laughs> uh, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. It was really cool. It felt like I was in the 1950s or something. So, yeah, something happens up ahead and uh, we stopped for an hour and somebody, this girl was in a hurry. She's really chatty. She's a tweaker too. She was like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, cool, you know, if we stop for an hour, it's probably going to be another hour of us getting out of other trains' ways. It's not like we just get back on the road and roll. Like, we're not exactly a priority here. <coughs> we'll get there. 